Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use a micro C for pig ADC library. This will be a basic introduction and its usage and I will demonstrate this on the Proteus. So let's get started. So guys, first of all, before we continue, first of all, you will need to learn some mathematics. So in case of a pig 16 fa 7 a there is an hardware configuration in the data sheet of every pig microcontroller you have to read that that what is the resolution of your adc module found in that microcontroller so in case of a pic 16 f 7 f 8 a it says that the adc module is 10 bit it means that 2 power 10 its maximum resolution is 1024 that is important then guys vref vref is the voltage you give to the pics vdd pin so in normal case like in the basic usage uh, this will be the voltage at the VDD pin, the voltage you give to power up the pick. So, that is usually the 5 volt. So, these two values will be constant in our formulas. And in case you are using a different pick microcontroller, only the difference will be that these two values will be different. Like, if you are using a pick 24 and it has 14 bit ADC, then 2 power 14, whatever the value is, that will be your resolution. And if you are giving 3.3 volt to the VDD pin, then your VREF will be the 3.3 volt. And in the next step, you will calculate the values as you like. So, it means that VREF is 5 volt, then ADC value is 1024. So, this means that the 2 power 10 is the 1024, 0 to 1023. So, maximum ADC value is 1023 from 0 to 1023, total is 1024. So, at 1024, that is the maximum voltage that is a 5 volt. So, if it is half like at 512, it will be 2.5 volt. So this is the voltage you will be voltage will be applied to the pin. Whatever the voltage is applied to the pin at its correspondence, this ADC value will change. Suppose the voltage at the pin is 1 volt, then this value will change accordingly. And let me tell you how you calculate that value. Whenever a voltage is applied, then you will need to calculate the value. Theoretically, you will cal calculate this value using this formula. So guys, this is you can see that applied voltage to ADC pin to ADC value is like you can apply any voltage like 2 volt, 3 volt, then the ADC value, that is the value what will be received in the microcontroller which will be programmable will be calculated by this formula. Maximum resolution, that is this 2 power 10, 1024, that is constant and then the VREF, that is also a constant 5 volt. The only thing that will change is the applied voltage at the pin. Whatever the voltage is received at the pin by the sensor, by the module or by any type of device you are using giving an ADC output, that value will be received at the ADC pin of your pick. Only in this formula, this will change. That is how you will implement it. So, max resolution is 2 power 10, 1024. That is constant and VREF is 5 volt. And this is also constant. So, guys, in our case, we will be using, I will be demonstrating to you the value we will receive at, at ADC pin. Whatever the value, I will give 2 volts for just demonstration purpose. So, the value will be 2 volt at the ADC pin and, what, and this 2 volt we will use this formula to convert it to the ADC values that we will program in the microcontroller to turn on of an LED. So guys see ADC value is 1024 that is constant 2 power 10 resolution then VREF is also constant 5 volt only the thing that change is the voltage applied to the pin that is 2 volt. So we will get 409.6 by using the calculator. Now we will program this 409.6 as per our programming. So, let's get to the micro C for pigs to, so I can show you some commands here. So, guys, this is our micro C for pig. The version I am using is 7.2.0. Let me zoom in. You can use a 7.5.0 as well. That's the latest available at this time. If you use a better version, still doesn't matter. The commands are same. So, click on new, new project, write the name of the project. I write library 2. And the crystal I am going to use is 16 megahertz. Click on next and finish. Before doing anything, first of all, press Ctrl S to save your project like this. It's saved. Now go to the right. In the library manager, you expand it and you will get system library expanded. Now the first one is the ADC. You check mark it. Double click. Here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 commands in this version of the micro C. 
only ADC INIT and ADC read these two commands are used. You should ignore these two commands. You will not use the ADC get sample and ADC INIT advanced. Only the useful commands for a beginner is ADC INIT and ADC read. Even for an expert, these two commands are enough. Now let me show you how this ADC INIT command works. If you double click on it, in the example here you will see that this is the command and it says that initializes ADC module with default setting. So I copy this command and you will place it in the one time loop. Now what this command do is that let's get to the Proteus. In the Proteus here you can see that I have a PIC 16 fa 7 a microcontroller. Let me remove the, this terminal and this is a battery giving 2 volt to the ADC pin like this for simulation purpose. And then in the PIC you can see that if you open the data sheet of the PIC you will see that it has certain ADC pins like E0, E1, E2 are ADC pin, A0, A1, A2 are ADC pins. These pins are AN0, AN1, AN2, AN3, AN4, these and AN5, 6, 7. These all pins are our ADC pins having AN in the data sheet as well. So you can use any of these ADC pins, but whenever you use this command in the one time loop, these all pins get initialized. Now your pins are initialized, you can connect any ADC input value to these sensor to these pins. See, all of these pins are now initialized with that single command. Now, what I do is that I give some initialization delay for the command to easily initialize, and now I go to the forever loop. Our pins are initialized. This command ADC I N I T initialize all the pins. Now go to the right. Here you have this ADC read command. What this command does is that you first copy it. Let me show you what it do. You paste it in the forever loop. Now this command will read the data from the pin. This command initialized all the pins. Now from which pin we want to read the data? We will use this command. And this is the variable which will store the red data. So you initialize it as well. You can give it any name. I make it integer temp. So temp is a variable which will store the received data like this. Now. Uh, this is 2. See, temp is a variable. This is a command. Then what is this inside the bracket? This is 2. This means that this is a channel. So you go here. It says that above here. You can see that it says unside ADC read. This is the variable. And this is the channel. Channel means go to the Proteus. Here you can see that it says AN0, AN1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7. This 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are the channels. Now, right now, as you can see, the input is connected to the A0, this 0, A and 0. So this means we are using channel 0. So, I am going to write 0 because how this is how this command knows that at which pin the sensor is connected for which value you want to read. So, if you have like more than one inputs, then you will connect it to the different pins, then you will use this command again and again. And you will simply change the values. So let's uh, get back to the micro C. See that suppose I have another sensor connected to 1. I will make it 1. Now this will read the data from pin number 3. Uh, for A0, this is pin number 2 of the PIC 16 fa 7 microcontroller. That is AN0 pin. This represents the channel. This is the command. And this is our variable. And this is the initialization of all the pins. Now we give some initialization delay as well. Here as well, 10 will do fine. Now, whatever the value is received, we will now use an LED. We go to the Proteus and go to the devices and take an LED. Go down. These LEDs, use these. Blue, green, red, green is fine. I use this. Place it somewhere. I place it here. Connect the pin. And give it a ground. Like this. Now guys, we have the LED at B0. We initialize the LED as well. For that, write down trace b dot f0 equals to 0. 
it means that like in case of an Arduino, it is like pin mode output. 0 means output, 1 means input. Now initially the LED must be off, B dot F0 equals to 0. So this is the initial state of the LED which is off. Give some initialization delay. 10 will do fine. LED at B0 is initialized and initially it's off. Now when it will turn on, we write here that as seen in the presentation, when if temp is as we did our calculations, we saw that the value we get at 2 volt will be 409.6. So, we take it 410. So, if temp is greater than 410, then turn on the LED. Like if the voltage at the pin number A0 is greater than 410 that is greater than 2 volt only then the LED at pin number B dot F0 will be on else it will be off like if the voltage is less than 2 like 1 volt is applied then LED will remain off so else it's off now I burn this in the Proteus build it see it's built successfully no errors all files compiled now we go to our Proteus double click on this and then select the crystal 16 megahertz is the one we are using now select the file wherever you have stored it okay this is the file i click okay now the voltage c here is 2 volt i make it 3 like the voltage is 3 volt so at 3 volt the led must be on i run See the LED is on. The voltage is 3 volt. So as per our calculation, it is greater than 410. 410 is the value at 2 volt. Then 3 volt it must be higher. So LED is on. So ADC value, ADC INT command initialized all of these pins. Then we are reading from A0. Rest of the channel C will not be reading the data because we are not using that. So at A0, it's 3 volt. And as programmed in the micro C, whenever we get value above 410, that is above 2 volt then the LED must turn on. Now I give a value below 2 volt. I stop the simulation and I change the value here. I make it 1 volt. Now the value we are re receiving is 1 volt. I run the simulation. See LED didn't turn on. See because the value is now below 410. When you will use this formula to calculate the values you will find out that the value you are getting is below 10 volt. This formula is very important, this one. Now when you will find out the value, then you will see that it is below 410. So when it's below 410, so as per our programming, it should not turn on and it is not turning on. Now I make it 1.8 volt at A0. 1.8. I click OK. I run. See that again the LED didn't turn on because the value is below 410. Now I make it 2.2. Now it's above 410. So I click OK. I run. See the LED value turned on because LED turned on because the value is now above 410. So guys in this way the ADC library of the micro C work. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.